Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. This is episode number 32 of Let's Play as the Jews. Looks like Bavaria is actually taking over most of what would be the Holy Roman Empire. Nothing's really going on in Ireland or England. The Umayyads are doing okay. Mali is... Oh, the Berber Company seems to have taken over. <laughs> so we got a mercenary captain in charge of some territory over there. Abyssinia is still alive and strong. Absids are doing whatever. Saffords are pretty much destroyed. Byzantine Emperor, pretty much destroyed. Coronians are actually on the map. Hungary only has an army of 5,600, so who knows what he did with his event spawn troops, but it wasn't good. And it looks like we've got uh, Svithjad, or whatever it's pronounced, taking over up there. All of Rus has joined against us, Rus being quite strong. He is seven, so clearly he is trying to stick up for his friends. He's defending against my war for Tishtia of Maromians. Tishtia of Maromians. So if I end this war, Rus will back out. So I think we do want to advance down there. Try to find his army. Maybe even advance a bit. Try to crush tiny little armies everywhere. We probably don't need to have that money there. I might be cutting it kind of short. But you can see winning these battles is actually pretty significant. Seventy-four, seventy-five percent just from one battle. From there, all we really need to do is just siege through the top holding and they'll surrender. You coming for me? Yeah, it looks like he's gonna catch us. All right, in that case, we'll break off this army here and try to reinforce. Make sure we have good commanders. We're defending in the hills. We have reinforcements coming. Looks like we are losing. Pretty poorly. Alright, back off. Alright, fine. We'll raise up the levy. I like it better when I don't have to use my levy. It's just simpler that way. Send them forward. Wherever they may be needed. And of course, there's the Jewish Karaite revolt. Naturally. Please don't kill my retinue. Another son, my gosh. You can't say that we're not good at making sons. Okay, so we got one guy who's willing to surrender. We'll take it. Looks like he's actually building something, too. That frees up another army to actually use against him. My firstborn son. Shall we educate him ourselves? I think so. Even though we've got some nasty traits, we can kind of mold him in the right direction. His army's not advancing, so as soon as we get enough men, we'll just advance on him. Like now. How sad. That guy was just about to finish his temple. And actually become like fairly powerful. Yes, please do be zealous. Okay, run this army down. Got another guy who's surrendering, great. Got another one who's willing to surrender, great. Starting to feel a bit like world conquest here, so. We're going to want to try to remember to go south. Conquer what we're supposed to conquer. But sometimes, like, in order to conquer the really strong people, you have to just conquer the really weak people for a while. That's how you get enough power to... to beat the strong people.
But I promise we're not going to just continue to conquest in random directions. We're only doing this anyway because it could help us out with the... Uh, I might consider... Oh, looks like we inherited that thing at Turkestan back. That old man didn't live very long. Give it away to another old man. Um, is because we I'm considering maybe making that emperor empire. I don't know. Maybe. Probably not. Where is that peasant revolt anyway? Six thousand troops down in the south. All right. Well, in that case, let's take all these armies then. Send them down because we're not going to need them up here. Looks like we're losing a battle there. Fine. You're gonna make me... be all patient and stuff, aren't you? Little bits of attrition being suffered here and there. Nothing major. 5%, 6%, 7%. No problem. And obviously that will be good enough. So, we're looking golden. I bet it's another sun. <laughs> this woman doesn't know how to make anything else. Still at war with all of Russ. Looks like even... Nope, Chud did not get involved. This will be a mountains crossing river penalty, but with this army size, we should be fine. Unless they get really lucky with their defensive terrain type things. You want me to set free my uncle? No. not going to happen. Every time I consider something like that, you guys try to put him in power. It's your little silly bastards. Actually, really low on funding here. My army is so strong, so big, that I'm not able to financially support it. So I'm going to probably... I need to actually start building some more of the castle towns and stuff. My firstborn is not actually becoming proud or anything really. Hey, of course there's another son. This one being quick. Uh, the chosen one. Oh, and it's twins. Twin boys. Oh my gosh. Was it? Oh no, I'm sorry. Looking at something else altogether. This is just another boy that came six. So I'll educate this one too. And until my little quick son gets older, we probably won't have him as our elected person because this guy's actually better I would rather be a seven-year-old zealous character than a zero-year-old quick character is the way that that works you just got to look at it like if I were to die right now which character would have the better succession seven-year-old because he's got better stats even though the quick kid has quick he's a three 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 this guy's just better slightly when he when he's also gonna be come of age sooner you can declare us you will have Regency for less time Zealous gets you points with people. Just trust me, I'm right. <laughs> Don't argue with me. You're sitting there thinking, that's not actually right. Quick is better, he's got more stats, Rumo, you can't count. You're right, I can't count. I'm pretty bad at counting sometimes. Can go for a few martial characters, sure. Sounds good. Alright, so that's going to end our expansion to the north, I think. And then from here now, it's time to just go to war with the Abbasids. We'll disband all the troops. 
I would like to get back up to medium crown law so that our vassals will stop fighting each other, but... Alright, we have the Sumanusco infidels this time. Apparently they're right there. <laughs> they're fighting against this guy. And actually taking... They're losing. They, they really suffered there to do that. Cool, I became just. Excellent. Who is this guy that we just imprisoned? Just a random army flank leader? We shouldn't have any revolt risk, right? No. Good. The Jewish Khazar. He's doing just great. Oh, it's so tempting to attack this guy. It's just, it's the right move. If you wanted to expand and get stronger, this is the guy right here. Then this guy, and then Russ, and then you just keep keep going, 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 going. You just go, go, go. It's easy. But no, no, no. We're going we're gonna to focus down here. How's the Abbasid dynasty doing? Caliph is old again. 26,000 troops. We have not that many. But if he were to die... We're still trying to kill this woman. Perhaps with a few more well-placed bribes, it could happen. That'll be fine. I don't mind spending money on that. It improves realm opinion. It also... I've had somebody in my prison for 49 years. I almost feel guilty. Almost! But you're a stupid woman and you're going to stay in there forever. I don't know I don't know why you're in there, but I just don't like you. My second son did not become humble. Or first son, I don't even remember which one that... Who had that event. Hey, there we go. The plot's firing, sweet. Come on, success! Kill her! I've been, I've been waiting for this barony forever. Oh, God damn it! she had a kid. Alright, this one won't take long. 2,000% plot power. The realm is with us. They agree that this barony belongs to me. Get her. Kill this girl. Kill her! My, rep my reputation's ruined! Oh no! Kill her! Kill her. I win! Yes! Now we have four castles in one county. We're over our domain limits. So we're going to have to get rid of probably this one. That one's pretty well upgraded. So is this one. This one provides more troops. This one has more vassals. I think we get rid of Oostert. But man, oh man. So we got our, our... Our guy here collecting taxes in the capital. We got this guy training troops. All these are gonna have... Look at that. 1,500 troops. 1,500 troops. 1,300. 1300. Just wait till we start upgrading them further. But I do need to build castle walls. Or sorry, castle towns. So that we actually have some income to support all these troops that we can raise. That's a pretty substantial personal levy. So how do we destabilize the Caliph? 51% plot power could actually fire. And we might be able to bribe just a couple people in. Possibly. We'll keep the plot going, and you never know. Uh, let's let him be kind. Sure. Kind and zealous. Sometimes an oxymoron. Depending on who you're talking about. I bet it's a son. <laughs> it's probably another son. Thank goodness we were able to switch to elective, because otherwise this Gavelkind succession crisis would have been insane. Still cannot quite get legalism. We don't accrue very many points. My learning and diplomacy are very poor. We actually do a fair bit of military points, but this character is just, he's bad. He's turning into an okay character. 
you know, the, the bonus martial score is really good for the army size. Um, we had a very, very tough start. And for whatever reason, Jews can't go on hunts, so I can't get rid of Craven. I can't get rid of Slothful. But we can have feasts, and we can celebrate Passover. So at least there's that. So we'll do that. Um, of course, the sun. No surprise there. No. No, this guy's never going to get out either. Sorry. I'll spend lavishly. Because I'm a glutton. I like food. I hereby invite you to my feast. You better come or I'll kill you. Alright, so, Abbasid man. Seriously, like, could you please not have so many troops? 19,000. Well, we might be able to take him. Looks like we have some more retinue caps, so let's go ahead and pick up. You know, maybe we should consider picking up some better retinue. Or Sarcher retinue. Let's get one. Just to check them out. I'm pretty sure that these guys have... Yeah, Horse Archer attack. Plus 40%. Let's see... I bet the other troop type has some bonuses too. Like cavalry... no. Well, that's kind of unfortunate. Horse Archer Morale. That might be what it is. They probably have Morale and Attack. Both. I'd be willing to bet that they have plus 40% Attack and plus 20% Morale. But it doesn't show the Morale in there. Which is fine. Um, yeah, we'll make some more of them. The Maya Fizzite Uprising is still going. He's at 0%. That is funny. She lost her chancellor. That's okay. Alright, good family, sir, or people. Who is the most powerful person in our realm that doesn't like me? That's not a child. No, I guess he's uh, the only duke that's relevant, so I will start improving relations with him. We could um, create some more duchies to make Judea more sort of organized, but it uh, looks like Russ and Perm. Russ is just gone. What happened to Russ? Oh, he's just at war with everybody. Someone's claim on Russ. Well, that's uh, too bad for him. It'd be a great, great opportunity for us to just scoop up all that land, but no, we're not going to do that. Feast is over. Looks like we can't celebrate Passover for a while. Probably the best time to attack the Caliph is going to be when he dies. So, plotting to kill him seems like the best course of action. And if we can't kill him, maybe we can kill his wife. Nope. If we can't kill him, maybe we can kill his son. Yes, we can. See, if the Caliph... If the Caliphate gets passed to a non-dynastic heir, then it's possible that the Caliphate could be ruled by someone who does not have the Sayyid trait, which then makes the Caliphate much less stable. So we'll just plot to kill his family, try to piss him off, make him weak. That didn't take long. Okay, I'm going to take a break here though, and in the next video, hopefully we will eventually be able to take on the Abbasid dynasty. Thanks for watching everyone, see you again soon.